Long time no see, guys. It is I, that flip flop guy, and welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last episode, we found our fourth party member, Dungeon Man. And this time, we are heading south because that's what we do with our fourth party of Dungeon Man. <laughs> no, we are finally exploring more of this stupid desert, and I we are getting out of this desert today. I don't care what people say. Let's go, Dungeon Man. Uh, arr, oh no, I am. Um, Getting caught on the palm trees. I, I cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. Ness, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. What? So we lost Dungeon Man already. <laughs> That's fine. No, it is true. Dungeon Man does not stick around with us, unfortunately. He is not the fourth party member. Which is very sad. And I keep pausing like this because I do not want to get heat stroke. How is my item? I got a lot of stuff. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's get rid of that. Uh, there's not really anywhere we can go. We're kind of stuck on a peninsula. A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river? Even though you know it's a stupid idea? Eh, not really. It was stupid of me to ask. Let's watch the sunset over deep darkness together from here. What a beautiful, like, just how he says that. Just like, let's just watch the sunset then. You don't need to worry about it, buddy. But no, we really do want to cross. The swamp is a bottomless. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It is a different story if you have a submarine. Well, you could probably get a submarine, right? Right? <laughs> no, we will see. We've seen all the enemies here. I'm actually going to use my heavy bazooka. We've seen all the enemies here for now. Uh, actually, I don't think there is any other enemy, so I don't know what I'm saying. But whoa, Ness. Let's talk to our boy, our previous fourth party member. I would, I would say fifth, but Pooh's not in the party. Ness is level 53 and healing gamma <gasps> is... <laughs> Dad, please, <laughs> please leave me alone. No, it's not a good idea. Please. Did I just get, did I just get a really good recovering move? In addition to the effects of healing beta, this cures being diamondized and paralyzed. It also revives a friend who has become unconscious, though HP is not maxed out. This thing will revive dead party members. Sometimes I think it's a 75% chance and then 25% chance it misses, but more often than not, I feel like it misses. So, <laughs> but now we do not need to use a couple life noodles for it. But how much does it cost? Actually, I was stupid and not look and did not look 20. Ness is finally feeling like that big boy healer that we've always needed a submarine. I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. And you thought we were getting out of here, but no, this song, I did want to talk about this song for a little bit. There are some interesting, interesting tidbits about this song, or about this dungeon in general. The song you're hearing right now is, I don't know, what would you call it? It's a reprise of like a drum beat from the Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club from the Beatles, and you'll notice that a lot with this area in particular, that this area screams Beatles. You will see why. This area screams Beatles, and can you not, can you not, can you not? Heavy bazooka time. No, this area screams Beatles. And also, we didn't really, did that not kill? That only, I need to do in the middle. I am kind of a dummy, whatever, <laughs> whatever. No, in the middle, or actually let's go over a little bit of something else too. This is the picture of Dungeon Man with a city and looks like a cannon on his head too, which is super interesting in my opinion. And he doesn't look like that at all now, which is kind of sad because I would love him to look like that with like a city. And then you go up to the city and talk to the actual Dungeon Man brick road. I don't know. I feel like that would be more ambitious to be like, oh, we got to go up to the top. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> we got to go up to the top of uh, Brick Row or Dungeon Man and talk to Dungeon Man himself because he's at the top. But I don't know. I guess this is OK, too. I can't really beggars can't be choosers. So, but no, that's what it looks like. And in can I talk? And in Smash Ultimate in the Magican stage, you can actually see Dungeon, Ma Dungeon Man's face in Dungeon Man. 
which is kind of freaky in my opinion, but can you not spill coffee on me? No, this is, you can see it pretty well too. Or I'm very surprised that they add that much detail into it, which I don't know. It's kind of also scary that he's in Smash Ultimate and he also just kind of just sits there, <laughs> just, just vibing, just vibing, you know, but no, that's it. Oh man. You know, that's some little interesting details that I did not go over last time that I kind of wanted to talk about, I guess. I mean, it's interesting stuff. I do love that there's some Beatle references in this game because, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Beatles, but I do like them. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. We actually missed an item here. I couldn't agree more with the opinion of the left of Billboard. Thank you. I bet you can. We actually missed one present in this area. Nest open the present. It's a slo slooper, a super plush bear. I haven't looked over the stats of this guy yet, but a cute teddy bear. That's it. He has more HP and he's better, but in this area, it doesn't really, I don't know. It feels weird in my opinion because we don't really need it. So, but oh, well, you can't complain. You can't complain. Oh man. We actually, <sighs> I feel sad that we have to climb up Dungeon Man yet again. I wish we could have just been like, hey, we need a submarine. Let's borrow a vehicle. But again, that's just knowing the, you know, breaking the fourth wall, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know if that's the right wordage. <laughs> Maybe it's more like, oh, oh, I want to heal, actually. Before we continue, I want a free heal. Thank you. I don't know. This area, again, not my favorite. <laughs> we have two episodes of this almost, and... It kind of makes me sad, but we're finally getting out of this stupid area. Holy smokes. I it's weirdly enough that there's more references to the Beatles in this game and more enemies too. If you more enemies. Yeah, that's kind of where ooh, we actually fighting these enemies. Heck yes. I forgot. There are some enemies from Moonside here. Also, we saw this guy in Moonside and it's been a while, buddy. We're going to kill you right away. But <laughs> I forgot about that. This guy was here. That's super cool. And he's super dead. <laughs> 800 damage, Paula. Goodness gracious, my guy. <laughs> I, yeah, there's enemies from Moonside that are glitching. What is, <laughs> what is going on? And I'm lost. We actually just have to go down here. I'm a little bit of a dumb dumb. Oh, this area confuses me sometimes. Let me, let me tell you. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to have a harder time getting up Dungeon Man the second time than the first time, but here we are, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. We saw the super plush bear, which is nice. I wanted to save it. We killed that thing before even Ness got a hit. Jeez. The lesser mooks are no problem for us now, and now we're in the stupid zoo. <laughs> I guess it's nice if you did miss any, like, not enemies, any uh, items on your way up. Because then you're like, oh, shoot, I can grab this now. Because I did realize I did miss it, like, that super plush bear. But that's about it. That's the only thing I missed. And now we can finally talk to Mr. Dungeon Man. Hello, sir. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You will need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. Time to finally go out Dungeon Man's butthole. <laughs> Say goodbye. And it's weird that the sign moves too. So does he have control on where the signs move? I guess. I mean, he can write it. So maybe <laughs> kind of a gross thing to think about. Not going to lie. And finally, we can get this present. There's a talisman ribbon. I don't think... Can you equip that? I don't think you can equip that, Jeff. Um, that might be a Paula only, which then we have to give something to Jeff, but Jeff has too much. So I'm going to drop the wet, wet towel and then I'm going to give, um, <laughs> use the Royal Ice tea. I, it's, it's useless. And then give it to Paula. Maybe I didn't really need to drop the wet towel, but the wet towel is kind of useless. So. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's get the talisman ribbon, ribbon, ribbon on Miss Paula. Um, I said, thank you. Raises up her defense quite a bit. I'm going to take that. She had the Mr. Saturn coin still. Nah, -uh. she did drop that son of a gun. <laughs> I'm not even worried about selling it. We have much more money. We have much more money. We have too much money to worry about. And 
I'm not going to attack those enemies. Thank you. You can kind of see too where those enemies delete themselves <laughs> once you get there. So, um, should we? I don't think we need anything, but I just wasted a dollar. So whatever. What does it say? Old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. Not really secret when you put it on a ledge for everyone to see. Taxi with no engine. Beautiful. Even though the thing doesn't run. Brick road. And the bicycle. Rusty bicycle. Rust is the perfect brake. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> this is a gift from Dr. Andonuts. Be careful how you use it. This is an instant revitalization machine. machine. In only a few seconds, a machine fully revitalizes you. Look at that. He has one of these things. And more importantly, broken down old submarine. The yellow color is purely coincidental. Remember when I said there's beetle references here? Jeff checked out the broken submarine. Yes, it can still work. I'm not going to sing the song, I promise. Ness and his friends carried out the submarine that Jeff fixed. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I really wish they did a rendition of the Yellow Submarine by the Beatles here. It would have been perfect. It would have been funny since they already did the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Y you would expect them to do something here, you know? Like the doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, something like that. But all we see is purple now. <laughs> and it sounds like there's pressure or there's weird pressure in deep darkness, too. So... Very strange indeed. I always thought those were frogs right there too, right on our right or left, but they're waves. <laughs> I was like, why are there frogs there? But no, there's just waves. Can we ride the submarine back? We cannot. We are here for the long haul. Welcome to deep darkness. First off, a hilarious picture from the player's guide of this toucan with a phone on his head. This is real, I promise. You can use this phone for free and see this beautiful picture. This area is not fun. <laughs> when I say that, it is very interesting indeed. But first off, there's monkeys. The, monkey run the, the monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? You can spend... Oh, you sure have fond memories of the monkeys inn after your trip. Oh, I hope so. You can get a free rest here, which is very nice. But there's some things on our right that we have yet to see. Didn't think it was comfortable? Take care and goodbye. This is deep darkness. Remember when they said it hurts you when you walk into it? Come on. Yep. The red flashing. This is going to hurt us and it hurts us just by walking in here. And I do not like that second screen effect. The only, only the darker ones hurt you while walking. Fortunately enough, but we have the gunsmith. I usually call this gunsmith, but he will also sell multi-bottle rockets for you too. Same price, unfortunately, but we haven't actually seen any yo-yos for a while. And again, do not buy yo-yos. It is worthless. Ness already misses a lot, so giving him a yo-yo does not help. <laughs> and a super bomb, Jeff already has a heavy bazooka. We have everything we need, basically. So yeah, there's a little stuff here and also another monkey. Let's talk to the monkey. I heard monkeys living in some desert can teleport. Oh. You learned how to teleport from the monkeys? I want to try. Will, will you tell me how to do it? Sure. Okay, I'll try it. Uh, first time teleporting. I remember it. I'll never give up. I want to try again. So this is an interesting way of the game teaching you that you can actually turn while doing teleportation. I don't know if it actually... Taught you before, but it feels like this is an introduction where you're like, hey, look at what you can do with the straight teleport. I did it. Did you see me? That's awesome. Here's a small gift to thank you. Paula got the monkey's love. Um, I don't know if we want, <laughs> I don't know if we want that. Monkey's love, a gift from a monkey. It can be used during battle. What does it do? It didn't tell me. Okay, fine. That's fine. Whatever. And hello, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to the small rural, rural vi village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. And I'm, I'm a tough businessman. Yes, sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? 
Um, I guess we can buy. Needless to say, this is a rural, rural. I can't say this word. Okay, I don't know why. It's a. It, I can't say it. Rural, rural, rural. <laughs> I also can't say jewelry. Jewelry? I think I'm saying jewelry or whirlwind. I say whirlwind. Like whirl, whirlwind? There we go. Goodness. This is a rural village. Hey, <laughs> we have a poor items. Hello there. How may I help you? This guy will sell you the diamond band, the chain, the charm coin. Finally, again from Summers. This is how advanced you can get it. If you were in Summers, you can buy that diamond band if you had enough money. But we actually don't have an, a I almost said an ATV, an ATM in this in this specific area we have to go down south a little bit more so we'll come back and get that i do not want anything else actually can we come on do you have to tell me your life story every time i get something i want to heal please if you if you must talk to the doctor please please talk to me first do you have business with the doctor uh sure it's a special treatment you'll be in perfect health with just one treatment the fee for one treatment is 500 dollars. do you agree to the fee uh no. Okay. If you attempt to talk to the doctor first, doctor without first going through me, it violates the law. Please be careful. Um, hello. I don't feel like it's necessary for, for us to talk. This is a very sketchy way of hearing his life story for a third time. <laughs> Let's actually try getting, getting his treatment. Yes, we have business with the doctor. It's a special treatment. $500, yes. I can pick up the fee for you now if you want. What would you like to do? Oh, uh, you can pay. I can pay for you now. Doc, please treat the next patient. Treat him right, okay? The great doctor whispered in each ear. First right, then left. Be healthy. He actually heals you. I'm happy to do business with men outside of the monkey realm. Please come back again. If we talk to him again, we hear his story for our fourth time. <laughs> Can we, do we actually, do we have to pay him back? Yes, it's a special treatment. You'll be perfect health. Yes, I can pick up. Whoa, you can do this infinitely? Wow, I didn't, I thought you would have to pay him back, but you know what, sir? You can eat kick sand. <laughs> it's really dark here in the deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? You don't have the Hawkeye here. You're hopeless. You're helpless. This is deep darkness. When you walk through the swamp, you'll endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I can find the mushrooms called magic truffles. They're located in the swamp and can be found by scent. You know, a pig's nose would be enough to find those great truffles by scent alone. Unfortunately, we do not have the pig's nose that is stuck on poo, but we don't need it. And I think... That is enough for today, unfortunately. We got to deep darkness in this episode, and next time on Earthbound, we will be exploring deep darkness and hopefully finding those magic truffles they were talking about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.